A new study is showing that 30 minutes of exercise a day is not enough. You should be doubling or quadrupling that. So what we've generally heard about what is considered an appropriate amount of exercise in order to lower your risk for heart disease is 30 minutes of moderate exercise a day. Now I'll get into what's moderate, what's intense later, but the point is a new analysis published Monday in the journal known as Circulation finds that the amount of activity may not be good enough. So they basically reviewed a ton of these studies and saw what was the deal. Okay, so the 30 minute a day guideline from the American Heart Association offers modest reduction in heart failure risk compared with those who didn't work out at all. So listen, we're by no means saying that 30 minutes a day isn't a good idea. You know, it's, it's good. There's no doubt about that. But what's interesting is that those who exercised twice and four times as much had a substantial risk reduction of 20% and 35% respectively. Now these findings are challenging the notion that 30 minute a day magic number for exercise. Instead, research found that physical activity and heart failure may be what they call dose dependent, meaning that higher level of physical activity appeared to be linked to a lower risk of heart failure. So, this is pretty interesting stuff. It really kind of flies in the face of what we've been taught about what's healthy. But I mean, the bottom line is, listen, if you're not exercising right now, don't take this information to mean, okay, well, if I, I can't do two hours a day, so what's the point of me doing anything? 30 minutes a day, still a good idea, baseline at the absolute minimum. So listen, heart failure is a huge public concern right now. It is, uh, it's just really, really bad. Um, so we're looking at statistics saying that uh, heart failure affects more than 5.1 million folks in the country and results in healthcare costs exceeding $30 billion per year. This is a really big problem. Officials are suggesting this is a growing epidemic expected to incre increase 25% uh, in the next 25 years. So huge deal here. Now, what's important to know about this for you? Let's talk about first. 30 minutes of moderate exercise was the baseline. Now they're saying that two to four times as much, so an hour to an two hours of moderate exercise is considered even better for you. So let's remember, moderate exercise is different than intense exercise. So you can actually cut the number in half if you're doing intense exercise. So two minutes of moderate is about equal to one minute of intense exercise. Okay, so we could be talking about 30 to an hour of intense exercise. Now, what's vigorous activity? What's intense exercise? Jogging or running, swimming laps, riding a bike fast or on hills, playing singles tennis, playing basketball. Now, what is moderate? That's the 30 minutes we were talking about before. That includes fast walking, water aerobics, riding a bike on level ground, playing doubles tennis, or pushing a lawnmower. So there you have it, folks. Get started. Try to get more than 30 minutes if you can, but if you're not doing anything, listen, I don't wanna hear it, right? Start with 30 and move on from there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe.